So this is what the back end of a Shopify store looks like. One thing that Shopify does a little bit differently, that makes it very useful but also a little bit confusing, is how they split off the back end, you know, the inventory, your products, and your customer lists from the front end of your store or what people will actually see when they go to yourstore.com. So on the home screen, you get immediate access to your orders. This is where you, uh, you know, get orders from when people check out from your website, uh, where you can keep track of customers, your analytics, set up discounts, control apps, that kind of thing. The most important thing, though, on the, the sort of back-end area is your products, where you go to add products, where you can import them via CSV, or you can add them with a click of a button. And the interesting thing about splitting off the back end sort of part of your store is that you can actually make products only visible via your buy button, which you can you know run a flash sale on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, wherever, that kind of thing. Or by leaving your online store checked, it will automatically create a page on your store with the content that you publish right here. You also, you know, determine product type, the vendor, collections, which is face, uh, which is Shopify's term for category. Set up any tags, any images, that kind of thing. Um, the back end is also where you organize your collections or categories with the different products that you've added. And again, when you add these, you just select the visibility to appear on your online store, and it appears there. But if you want to manage the actual look and some of the other pages, like your about page, your FAQ page, that kind of thing, you manage the front end of your front end of your store through the sales channels button, and you can see where they split off their buy button uh, from the actual online store. And they treat your online store like a sales channel, almost equivalent to Pinterest or Twitter, or Facebook, wherever you're selling products. And this is where you control your design. You know, you can customize the theme template that you're using. You can uh, adjust individual elements, or if you have a designer, uh, you can actually edit the HTML and CSS. Adding pages and blog posts is the same as adding products. Um, it's just you open up the pages area, add page, you can add content, determine a what template to use, uh, determine the search title, meta description, that kind of thing. And this is where you go to do your menus. Has everything that you'll need to run an online store. Uh, but again, the, the only thing that Shopify does differently than say BigCommerce or other platforms is that they separate out this inventory area from the front end, which makes it a little more flexible, but also a little bit confusing.